This year's Nobel Prize in Chemistry has been awarded to three scientists who developed the world's smallest machines. The so-called nanomachines mimic normal mechanical and biological functions at a molecular level. The Nobel Committee have described it as a huge breakthrough. It's been a dream of scientists for over half a century to take this development all the way down to the molecular scale. That nanometers. A nanometer is one million times smaller than a millimeter. In here, we have some molecular machines. I'm joined by TRT World science reporter Saurav Roy. So, Saurav, tell us a bit about these winners and what exactly are these nano machines? Well, nanomachines are machines at the tiniest level. So they're the tiniest of the tiniest machines that you can ever imagine. To put that in perspective, uh, you can fit 10,000 nanomachines between the space of two atoms. Uh, that's uh, all happening at 10 to the power minus 9 level, uh, which is really, really minute. You can't really see it. Even you can't see it with an electron microscope. You need a much more powerful microscope for that. Now, what does that mean? It means that now we can do so many things right at the crux, right at the base of where action actually takes place, whether that's the atom or whether that's the molecules or whether that's cells inside the body. Um, for example, let's say, uh, what is the simplest or the smallest machine that you can imagine? A safety pin or a drawing board pin? Uh, but in this case, we are thinking of very complex machines at the 10 to the power minus 9 level doing multiple things. Uh, to put that in perspective again, um, right now, when you are sick, you pop in a pill which is 10 milligrams. It first goes into your body, into the stomach, then it's pumped by the heart, and then it goes all over your body, and finally it probably goes to your ankle where it hurts. But with nano delivery, all you need is a tiny carbon nanotube, which is invisible, uh, and just that little dose of medicine, which goes like a spacecraft in your bloodstream and goes and targets those cells where it hurts and delivers the drug only there. Mm. Your heart doesn't very need. Very specifically. Very specifically. Your heart doesn't need that medicine. So you can perform and execute actions at the tiniest level. I think it's a huge breakthrough. Okay, Saraf, many thanks for talking us through that. Saraf, are there for us?